Well, I come from a family of artists and writers. Uh, my father is a painter and a writer. My mother was an architect. Uh, my older brother is a writer and a painter. My younger brother is a photographer. <laughs> uh, if you do something that's not artsy in my family, then you're probably the black sheep. I like to paint people, portraits or whole figures. Um, but I prefer to paint people that I know. So I've used my uh, daughter as a model. I've used a friend's daughter. After graduating from Yale, I went to NYU for sets, lighting, and costume design um, for a year. I went with the idea of thinking I was most interested in set design, um, but I think what I, in fact, really fell in love with and have retained the most from was lighting design. It affected how I painted, too. I really thought about color shadow, co colors and shadows, as well as the colors within the lights more. Um, I think one of the painters that I feel um, most influenced by, uh, even though it's not obvious from looking at my paintings, is Vermeer. And Vermeer really focused on lights and darks and very specific colors and shapes within the lights very specific colors and shapes within the shadows as well. I decide what I'm going to focus on. In this particular show, it's more, um, last show was uh, figures around a pool and in a pool. And these are more in the pool and under the water. There was one painting from the first show where there's a girl sitting in the pool and um, the body shapes come apart and distort once they're underwater. And I decided that would be fun to explore more of that. Above the surface, the bodies are solid and whole, the way we think of ourselves. Below the surface of the water, they break apart into pieces. I think uh, it's just a, um, an evolution. The second show is an evolution from the first show. I think within each body of paintings, you know, you might evolve from painting to painting. Each painting, you're, you're trying out another variation on a theme. Um, and the second show really is uh, kind of a variation on the first show. Y you find the beauty in everybody. Um, with every model I've had at art school, too, um, you find their particular uh, uniqueness and what makes their drawing them interesting. And that's something that actually does happen regardless of who you draw.